All right, we're now joined by South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, thank you for joining us. You just heard that young man, uh, Mr. Thornton, yeah. who's, a, who's a cop, cop, police dispatcher, who's yeah. who, yeah, community right. activist, African-American cop, community sure. activist, who said, Lori Lightfoot, right. time to go. What does Lindsey Graham say? What's a message to Democrat mayors, governors, senators around the country right now? <laughs> Well, everybody's going to move to South Carolina. If you don't watch it, you from Chicago to Charleston. That's a pretty good trade, wasn't it, Eric? That was a good trade, sir. As as my senator. <laughs> so so let's talk about let's talk about twenty two, sir. We're looking at a very strong likelihood that the House will go Republican in in a big way. How does the yes. Senate stack up, and what will be the what's the what's the kind of platform? Is it going to be crime? Is it going to be the border? Okay. What are the things that you guys are going to you think you're going to push for? All the above. So let's look at history. So um, history tells us that the party, uh, not in the White House, usually gains about 25 seats in midterm congressional elections. We're down five in the House, so we need only five to take over the House and make McCarthy speaker. So historically, we get 25. I think we could double that. That young man that just spoke is voicing for a lot of people the frustration with these blue states who are just high cost, high crime ridden. So what I see on, on the front for Republicans is a wipeout. I think we're going to wipe them out in the House and we're going to keep the Senate. We got three states uh, where Democrats are, are incumbents that are at risk, Arizona, Georgia, uh, and New Hampshire. I think we can win all three with the right candidates. What are the issues? Inflation, a broken border, crime, and you can keep this tape. 2022 could be the most dangerous year for the world since 1939, and it all started with Afghanistan. So watch out for foreign policy dominating 2022. All right, let's talk about two quick, uh, two quick Senate races. John Thune, I know he said he, well, I think right. he said his wife wants him to retire. I believe you, you're on record saying, stick around. I think uh, uh, yeah, Mr. Stick around, Powell John. says, stick around, Thune. What's, what are your thoughts? I, I talked to him yesterday. I hope he sticks around. He's a solid conservative, very pro-life. John's just a good guy, one of my uh, oldest friends in politics. I hope he sticks around. Uh, you know, he's, he's second uh, in the Republican conference. He's a good man, a good conservative. Uh, this is the year for the Republicans to take back the Senate. 2022. And when we get back to Senate, we're going to stop this socialist agenda and we're going to shape the battlefield for 2024. I think about this time next year, Donald Trump's going to announce he's going to run for president in 2024. So if we have the House and the Senate, we should do a couple things. One, do good things for the American people, but also bring up issues that help our nominee, which I think will be Trump, showcase the differences between the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, bring up bills that are tough on crime, bring up bills that would secure the border, bring up bills that would stand firmly behind Israel. So if we get the House and the Senate, uh, we have a chance to shape the battlefield for 2024 politically, presidentially. That's why it's so important that we take back both bodies. That's great. And great news. Music to, to a lot of, of our viewers' ears. Senator, before we let you go, um, we lost uh, Harry Reid, uh, former Senate Majority Leader yeah. Harry Reid. You worked with, the, with Harry Reid for a very long time. Can yeah. you give us your thoughts on, on Harry Reid as a senator and, and uh, his passing? Well, number one, he was a real partisan guy, but I liked him personally. I mean, he believed in what he believed, and I can deal with people who believe something different than me. I, I always trusted Harry. Uh, the Port of Charleston is a big deal for us in South Carolina, Eric, and we were funding, we had a funding problem, and Harry helped me at a time to help the people of Charleston, the state of South Carolina. I'll never forget that, but uh, he was a partisan guy. He changed the rules of the Senate for judges. I, I think that set in motion Trump getting three Supreme Court picks, but uh, I want his family and friends to know that they're in my prayers. Uh, he was a good man. He fought hard for his causes, and he will be missed. But I'm excited about 2022. I've never been more excited about the future of the Republican Party than, than I am right now. Joe Biden's been a disaster. Our country is less safe, less prosperous, and the world is a very dangerous place. Pray for our friends in Israel. Look what happened in Afghanistan. You got Russia and the Ukraine. You got China and Taiwan. I miss President Trump. He was a strong leader in a world that needed strong American leadership. So, Eric, I'm excited, pal. I think we're going to clean their clock in 2022. 
All right. All right. Well, well, there you go. Senator Lindsey Graham, always great having you here. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.